Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and it's time for another Squarespace rapid fire critique where I take one of your websites, no matter what it's built in, and give it a critique a critiquerson. And this video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you're looking for an easy turnkey solution for building your own online portfolio for your photography, like I did for jaredpoland.com, well, you can get a 14-day free trial, no credit card needed. Just go to squarespace.com slash photo, and when you use the code photo at checkout, you will save 10% off your first order. Now, let's get to this website. We have Paul, I'm going with Lar. I'm not going with Lari, because L-A-R-E, I'm going with Lar. We've got Paul Lar Photography, and I believe this site was actually built using Squarespace, but again, if you submit your websites, I don't care what you build them on, I just want to go ahead and, and give them a critique a critique sin. So this is where you enter the site. This is the first thing that you see. Up at the top, you've got About, Families, Wedding, Photo Lar, Sports, Contact, and Photos, all the way to the right. Now. You see, check out my photos. I'm gonna pass on that for just a minute because I see some text I wanna read. Meet Paul. I'm a Baltimore-based photographer who went to school for graphic design. Hmm, okay, so, all right, I better read on. I loved a good picture, but always had trouble figuring out photography with film until the birth of my first son. I got a Nikon D3000, and from that point on, I never put the camera down. Later in life, how much later could it possibly be? I found myself in a federal government job and worked my way into the design department where I don't care. Really, do you, do you care? Paul, I'm not, yeah, wait, actually I am ripping on you, but I don't care about, I mean, that's awesome that you picked up a camera when your kid was born and you learned and you went for graphic design, but you didn't like it as much as photography. You got a federal job, cool. All that stuff's great. I don't care about it on this site. I really don't care about reading most of that here. If you want to talk about, I was, it, I don't even know if I want to talk about I was in a dead-end job. Uh, not a dead-end job, but you're working for the government until you decided to take on your own thing. I don't even think that needs to be mentioned. My name is Paul. I picked up the camera when my first child was born. And from that point on, I've loved doing, you know, being creative. And you let your work speak for itself. Because I don't care if you've got 30 years of schooling or you have three months of taking photos. If the person with three months of taking photos, their photos are better, then I'm probably going to hire them based off of you because you have better experience, but your photos aren't as good. I'm not saying that your photos aren't as good as a three-month-old photographer who's very young who has a Fisher-Price camera. That's beside the point. So, talking about the About page, my name is Paul. Fine, you're based in Baltimore, that's cool. I don't mind that, but always mention I'm willing to travel if I need to. Uh, mention the kid, started taking photos, loved what I'm doing. Now I do this as a profession. Here's what I do, X, Y, Z, family, sports, portraits, you name it, weddings. I can do it. I can do anything that you're looking for, and I can do anything better, better than you. I don't know, it's an old thing. Anyway, let's get back into the site. So these photos are cute. I don't know if they're your kids or somebody else's kids, uh, but I stopped reading, and maybe it would have told me more about that. So then when under you, you get the families, and it says, Moments are precious. Let me freeze time so you will always have them. All right, you freeze that time. So this is where we've got sessions. Two-hour sessions, two-hour outdoor session, unlimited photos, rights to all images, $200 for two hours. Up to six hours of coverage. Oh, it gets it more expensive. Unlimited photos, rights to all images, $1,000. Full, up to 12 hours of coverage, unlimited photos, rights to all images, professional album, $2,300 for family photos? A 58%, no, 50% non-refundable deposit is required to hold your spot. All photos will be delivered digitally. Um, what, what, what gets me, I, fine, you wanna post your, your prices? Cool, I, I personally don't wanna post my prices, but again, it's personal preference. Uh, I like that you're showing that there's different options that people could choose. I think $200 for two hours of work, it's not two hours of work because it's probably like five or six hours worth of work with travel and time that you have to put into editing. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna do an update to jaredpoland.com later, so if you wanna stick around for that tutorial, just know that's coming at the very end. Just a little bit of a tutorial going on there. But I, I don't know that you're gonna get somebody for 12 hour coverage. I mean, the kids are gonna be sleeping by then. They're gonna to need to take a nap. And I don't see your photos. I don't see anything that you've taken photos of yet for me to wanna to hire you. And that, that brings me up to, back to the top of the page. So up here we've got about. 
Well, shit, about's right here. It scrolls me down. Then we've got families. Okay, great. That scrolls me down to families. Then I've got weddings. Cool. And then if you scroll again, you've got sports. Like, I like that you're doing all of these things, but all you're doing is selling me before I even get to see your work. And then I get check out my photography. I've got sports, I've got contact, which is, again, all the way down at the bottom of the page. I don't know why this is all on one page. And then finally, we get to see photos which are just thrown into a gallery. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12-ish, 14, 16, 18, whatever. 25, 30 pictures right here. But there's no organization here. We need some kind of organization. And personally, my personal take on a site that is extra dark is I don't like it. I like a vibrant site. I'm not saying that my site is the best in the world, and it also says enter me, and I'm gonna be making changes to it, but I, I don't know, white? For some reason, I just, I just like the feeling of a cleaner website. So, didn't I just click on something? Let me click on that. I like the feeling of a cleaner website. It draws me into the image, whereas a darker website doesn't. And then just seeing these images, well, why aren't we split into families, weddings, sports, photo, you know, that's where your photo should be. You shouldn't really start with the about, in my opinion, that could be over there. If you've got these different types of things, families, weddings, sports, well, move about all the way over here, get rid of photos as a thing, and make each one of these its own page, pages that's clickable with images of, you know, showing family photos, and then images that show wedding photos, and images that show sports photos. That way you've split it up, and I know that, oh, this isn't even even anyway. So we're gonna move about over here and get rid of photos, and now you've got three on the left. No, maybe you've got four. Screw me, I'm wrong. You've got four on the left. But you get the point of what I'm trying to say. That way you can show your photos. I mean, you're hiding your photos as the last thing, and I, don't, I, I, wanna, I wanna see your photos. And I wanna see photos about families, weddings, sports. That's what I wanna see. So that's my feedback right there. I also noticed something else. We have an Instagram, I click it, and it says, sorry, this page isn't available. This is one of those things you need to double check to make sure that when you click on it, now this, this could be an issue on the back end. Um, I've seen it on a couple of websites I've been critiquing. It's possible that Squarespace may have changed some linking or directing on the back end where you go in and you change up your uh, social links. So maybe that's a thing on the back end. You just need to double check to make sure your Instagram is launching or any links that you have are launching. So right now, anybody out there, no matter what site you have, check your links on your site. Do your social links, go to where you want them to go because the last thing you want to have happen is somebody click to go there and it doesn't go there and they're like, well, if this person can't even get this right, why would I want to hire them to take my photos? That's just mentally what goes through my mind. So we've got that, we've got the contact here. I want to contact on another page and I honest to God want it to be a brighter, more colorful, vibrant website. I think a photo, I'm not saying that all photos should be vibrant and all photos, you know, there, there is a dark side to it, but I just, it looks dead to me when I click on photos and I see all of this. And on this angle, you better not be on this angle. Uh, I, I, would, I would get to a different angle off to the side. I've made the mistake myself. I would try to get the box in there with the ring. Of course, I know you've got to hide on a surprise engagement type thing like this, but I would just suggest, wait a second. How'd you do both? Is that a super duper crop? No, it's not a super duper crop. Maybe you had two people shooting with you or maybe you got it from two different angles, you zoomed in. But you really gotta get to the side. And I know they could have, I've been in this situation. I know it's not always perfectly clear how you set it up and they go and do that. So I've, I've made the same mistake. Just pointing it out for others that, that if you're going to be shooting an engagement, a surprise engagement, the rule of thumb is you wanna try and get the box and the ring and the surprise and the person, both people in there. If, of course, if, that's, if you can't do that for one reason or another, then it is what it is. But just as a recommendation, you wanna try and get that right, right there. All right, check my time. All right, I'm good on time. So we've got that. I wanna go down to weddings because I wanna read what wedding says. It's a once in a lifetime event. Make sure you capture all the smiles, laughter, and tender moments. Don't hire somebody who sucks. 
doesn't actually say that. For engagement shoots, I have set up in a predetermined location to stealth stealthily capture the moment that you ask the important question. I have also accompanied recently, oh Jesus. Um, I would say I have the option of locations that are available that I've already scoped out that are great for this because not everybody wants to get engaged in that spot where you think they should get engaged in because it's best for photos. Um, engagement sessions. So let's look at weddings. Engagements. Plan ahead and capture the moment. Okay, 200 bucks for up to two hours. Oy, oy, oy. Still, it's a lot of work that you have to do. Um, up to seven hours of coverage, one photographer, unlimited photo rights to all images, engagement shoot, two grand. Not bad for, for, for a day. Is that 2800 So it's only $800 more for, for, see, I personally, professional album. Wow, you're even including in a press professional album. It's, still, it's a better deal to go with the $2,000 one and get rights to all the images and do it yourself uh, as a customer. Look, if you're going to come up with a big poly, uh, a big package, second photographer, 1000 extra bucks, rehearsal dinner coverage, wow, and then a 50% non-refundable deposit is required to hold your spot. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Get, get your deposit. That's great. But I think you need to put together a package that includes the second photographer. Uh, and I think $2,800 with the album is, is, is you're selling yourself a little short. You can make more money when you add that second photographer. Include it in the package. Don't have it as an option of $1,000 more. You get a second, a second photographer. Have the second photographer. I'm not comfortable shooting a wedding myself. When I was shooting weddings, I wasn't comfortable going out and doing it myself because I knew I couldn't cover everything. So I would rather have a second shooter there with me to help capture the moments so we don't miss something. And so I would make a bigger package of $3,500 or 33, 38, whatever you want it to be, $4,000. And I don't like saying seven hours or 12 hours. I'm not a big fan of the time thing because it is what it is. I'm, I'm shooting your wedding, you pay my fee, I'm gonna be there for at least eight to 10 hours. If it's anything more, we'll figure it out when we're there, look. You know that when you shoot a wedding, by the time you get to the party, the only thing you generally need to do is get the dances right, get the cake cut, and if they're still throwing a bouquet and garter, which is kind of stupid anymore, then you, you capture that. I've been to a lot of weddings where they're not doing that. So build a bigger package, make more money, offer that second photographer, still offer it as $1,000 extra for that second package without the book, then that way it's uh, $3,000, but make your other one at least $3,800 or $3,750 or $3,650. Whatever it is, you're still going to make more money because you're not paying the second shooter 1000 bucks to shoot for you. You're probably spending 400 bucks if you're generous. I used to pay $500 because I technically became the second shooter while I had other people do the setup shots with the strobes and everything because I was more comfortable doing the photojournalistic things, but I used to peel off five bills and hand it to the second shooter at the end of the night, and boom, they got paid. So that's really my feedback on this site. I don't think there's much else that I want to say there. If you want to submit your website for a critique, it's bit.ly slash fro critiques. Now I want to show you something with Squarespace. If you want to sign off now, go ahead and sign off. This is an educational thing and also a plug for Squarespace. So I'm warning you with peace and love, peace and love. I haven't updated uh, my six degrees onto the Jared Poland website, which means I don't have a folder for it and I don't have a, I don't have anything for it. I'm just checking the time to make sure I only get 20 minutes. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add a new folder so that down here I can add six degrees and I can add the photos I wanna add into them. Under navigation, I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus. I'm gonna put folder. I'm gonna call this six degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add page. I'm gonna add a gallery. I'm gonna call this Steve Weatherford, Weatherford. I'm calling it 1-1 one -one for line 1 and show 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and find the photos, which are all right here, select them all, drag them right here, and now it's building a gallery. So that's going to take a couple of seconds, probably about two minutes. I export my images at 2,500 on the longest side, 2,500 pixels on the longest side to upload into Squarespace. So what Squarespace is doing right now is it uploads it to their servers and it's saving the images in I believe seven different sizes. So depending on if somebody's looking on mobile or somebody's looking on their tablet or on a website or depending what size their screen is, they're gonna serve them the right image. So a smaller image on a smaller screen means they're sending less data it's easier to quicker download and get it going. Well, that is actually pretty quick. So 
these are now currently live on the website uh, because I, I did that. So let's go to jaredpoland.com. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Then we've got six degrees. Hey, look at that. It's the first thing right there in Steve Weatherford 1-1. And what is that? Within like 12 seconds? Well, it's still propagating on the back end. All right, there we go. It's loading now. So within, within like 60 seconds, I created a new gallery, updated my website without having to call somebody else to do it. And it all cost me roughly, what, 10, 11, 12 bucks a month with Squarespace to go ahead and have this. That's ease of use. If you don't have your own personal website for your portfolio, I recommend trying Squarespace. It's what I personally use. Go to squarespace.com slash photo. Use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. You get a 14-day free trial, no credit card needed. Try it out. If it, if, if it works for you, use it. If it doesn't work for you, don't use it. And that's where I'll leave it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, photo.com. See ya.